Hello guys, Linz here and today after one year precisely on 15 of March I started doing this series and I didn't finish it so as a special let's do this every year <laughs> three deals each year I guess this, this is Yunji I remember Yunji well and I forgot your name <laughs> well after one year after one year we're going to play this again so let's go with my dabbing Yunji we'll tell you later let's go eat quickly so we can play I don't even remember what happened before this it was so long <coughs> have to watch my video Yunji wishes us out to go eat dinner. Mostly light fare tonight. Steam rice with some vegetables along with the usual kimchi. Seems I get kimchi with every meal. I may end up hating cabbage after this trip. We eat a comfortable silence and when we finished, I help Yunji clean up while Yon 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 So that's what's her name. How do I pronounce it? Wait, let me Yon Yon not j uh, North Korean. What is North Korean? Korean. 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 Chong. Chong. Okay, it's Chong probably. Chong may goes to f fetch the game. While drawing, I can hear Chong humming from the other room as she set up the game. She sounds pretty happy. It makes me smile. Young. <laughs> Let's call it young. Why not? I've got a, I got the board set up for whenever you report done in there. Tips on the original leader, the leader token. You can't call dips when we all aren't sitting in the room. That's like calling shotgun before they even bring out all the weapons to choose from. That is not what calling shotgun means at all. Don't don't care. I call dips. Oh, really? Yeah. Return. Fine. I swear you're such a child at times. Yes, indeed. Yunji, Yunji. As if to emphasize Jong's point, Yunji sticks her tongue out at her. <laughs> I walk over and see what almost looks like a familiar game to me. The board and setup appear to be very much like Trumpo Trumpopoly. <laughs> Trumpopoly, yes. Tr Trump version of Monopoly. The property buying game based on purchasing overpriced hotel properties in Miami. Upon closer inspection, I find out just how different the game really is. Stay, stay, Democratic People's Republic of Korea, the game of annexation. Take over the leadership of countries oppressed by capitalism and convert them to the way of the one true Korea. Yes, yes, let's go for the leader, Kim Jong-un. Wow, I've seen alternate, ed alternate edition of Trumpopoly based on college campuses and popular movies, but this has to be the most offensive ripoff I've ever seen. As future representative of the one true Korea, the game is vital to learning how to liberate the world from the shackles of capitalism. Not sure I can agree with that statement, but seeing as there isn't much else on the docket, tell me how to play. The money over there is called the Leeds Trust, in which he entrusts us to use to buy influence in the world. You roll and move your token. And when you land on a country, everyone pitches in their share to purchase sovereign crown for a Korean embassy. When you own all of the countries in, col in a color block, you can start placing consulates. What the heck is that? Once you have four consulates in a country, you can trade them in for an ambassador. When all the countries in a color block have ambassadors, you convert them into cables. 
cables? C cables, yes, cables. Yeah, cable. Then comes the fun part. When all the countries in a color block have ca cables, you roll the Korean occupation dice against the foreign government dice. If the Korean dice roll is higher than the foreign dice roll, you successfully lead a coup d'etat, taking over that region, converting that block to Korean property. You get a bonus to your roll, and the more con converted the color block, the lower the bonus, as it's harder to get stubborn countries to turn. This is not in the spirit of Trampopoli at all. In fact, it's a little frightening that the point of the game is to lead coups against friendly capitalist nations. Not to mention one other factor. So, tell me, what are the victory conditions? <coughs> Convert all coal blocks on the board to, con to Korean control. Seriously? I thought the original Trampopoli took forever to play. The victory conditions for this game are practically unreachable with no playing for hours on end. Stop whining, Yankee Doodle! The average playing time is only a mere 17 hours! Not counting bathroom and meal breaks, sorry, may, sorry make that 19 hours. We're not really going to play for 19 hours straight, are we? Maybe we can play a shortened version tonight. Stop after a couple of hours. After all, we all need our sleep, so we'll be energized for tomorrow's date. Oh yeah, I'm going today then. <laughs> You guys know that's not how you use that word in America. And here I thought, no soldier would complain about going out on dates with two girls. You're not one of those. How do you say? Don't ask, don't tell. Are you? Are you? Are you? First of all, no. And we did away with that pol policy back in 2010. I guess I just find it surprising that you want to call our outings dates from the get-go. You worry too much. Now, are we going to play or not? Wait. I want to remind myself of how did a Yunji sound. Okay. Ofa Koshunota. We would name Giru Karl Dunitz. Yes, yes. Okay. She grabs what I can only assume is the original leader token and places it on the stay stay square. Here are the other tokens. Pick whichever one you'd like. There's the Korean flag on a pole, a bowl of kimchi, another leader figure, a nuclear warhead and what appears to be a blob with a muzzle. Cause that token slipped past quality control. Guess I'll take the bowl of kimchi. Great! I'll take the unif unified thought bubble of the Vorkus party. You mean that blob is actually supposed to look like that? Please, kindly refrain from insulting a token of the Vorkus party. Sorry, my bad, my bad. We all of the see who goes first and Yunji gets the honor. She does so and moves her token. Uruguay. Okay, Elian. Chip in your share so we can secure the embassy place space. Come again, we all have to pay. We explained this earlier. The money is coming to form the leader. We all have to be poor to pull in equally to get what we want in all of the countries. But that means at the end of the game we the, all have the same amount of money. Of course we will. Don't be silly. We all all we are all equals in the eyes of the leader. Now for uh, over some ca now for over some cash, Yankee Doodle. Would you mind not calling me that? You are American, right? Yankee Doodle Dandy? <laughs> I don't think they even think that in elementary school anymore. Anyway, it's my turn. And I stop at Rhodesia. Everyone, kick in! Did the makers of the game not know that the Rod Rhodesia isn't a country anymore? How old is this game anyway? Uh, am I in detail? Besides, there aren't many other nations nearby world annexing. It's your turn, by the way. Okay, I'm rolling. Common worker's chest. Oh, you get to pick a card from the red pile. Okay then, the card reads. 
The leader needs everyone in Sweden. Move all tokens to Sweden and pay double for anything purchased as compensation for leader's visit with the Swedish bikini team. <laughs> I don't think there really ever was a Swedish bikini team. It was just a beer commercial gag. I've heard that rumor as well. As if women would objectify themselves in small amounts of clothing for the pleasure of men. You don't want to talk. Those skirts don't leave much to the imagination. She hops up faster than Lance Corporal trying to avoid duty. Stop looking! Purple suits you really well, Yunji. They're not purple, they're lavender. Why am I explaining this? Good question, it's your turn. And after many hours, we continue on playing like this for hours. Open a card. Go directly to Yorok for getting intoxicated and failing to secure an embassy in Greenland. Again? I swear they put 10 of those cards in this set. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And hours. How could you fail that role to take over the Norway, Sweden, Finland block? Those pesky Finns, it's their fault with their Spokia phones and. Spokia <laughs> phones and Santa Claus backing. And ours. Jong! Jong! Jong, wake up! No need to shout in my ear, sister. After what seems like an eternity, we finally decide to finish up. Finally. Oh god, can we please stop? It's 1 am. We still don't have enough to buy embassies in Mexico, Canada, USA block. The leader in this game sure doesn't mind taking back his seed money for his own purposes. That pay for Leeds memoir card is brutal. I think we can stop now. Besides, it looks like Yunji is out cold. Yunji is on the floor, curled into a ball, snoring away. I try to nudge her awake, to no avail. She's down for the for the count. Think you can carry her to the to her bed? I'll put away the game. Sure thing. Good night, John. Pleasant dreams. I can kneel down and gently get my arms under Yunji, lifting her off the floor. She's pretty light. Well, it's not exactly like she's carrying around much. <laughs> I walk her to her room and put her on the bed and pull the blanket over her as she numbers something in her sleep. Death, <laughs> America, pig, dog. Love you, North Koreans, too. Uh, one. Korea. Idiot. I can't help but smile as I head back to my room to lay down for the night. Maybe we can do something other than attempt sub subterfuge on foreign governments via a knock off of a board game tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Oh my god. In my shock at the lounge ram I have jumped out of bed. Okay, more or like I fell out of bed. I have to mess with my phone a bit to get the alarm music to turn off and the bright light coming from the screen is blinded this hour. I don't even know what time is this. It looks like my clock is out. It's pretty dark inside too. Actually trying to turn the lamp on doesn't nothing either. Checking my phone again. I see that it's 4.47 am. Must be another one of those infamous power outages. I sit back down on the bed and consider taking a shower to pass the time. However, I definitely can make out the water running in the background because sounds beat me to it. Kicking back on the on the bed, I let my eyelids rest a bit, and I gather my thoughts about the coming day. It's certainly been something of an experience since I arrived in Korea. I can't complain too much about the company as the girls are both cute and funny in their own way, but their devotion to this glorious leader borders on creepy. Something is off about this country, dangerously off. At least, I made trade right on the lab and got free Korean lessons. Well, as free as two years getting the shit shoot out of me in Monterey Bay can be. I just never thought I'd be in country and on vacation at that. Either way, I need to stay focused and watch what I say. The people here already give me that glares when they're out. Stupid America dog. Whoa! Doors door for a second there. I wonder what time it is now. Huh? It's quiet. 
I guess the shower is free now. I stripped down to my silkies, grab a towel from my travel bag and tiptoe over to the bathroom. If someone is still asleep, I'd hate them to wake up, wake them up. Especially if it's Yunji, I can almost feel her fist in my gut just thinking about it. But, duh, well, the glorious toilet. <laughs> Once I step inside the bathroom, I can smell the sweet scent of shampoo and feel the warm, humid air wash over me. I take a few seconds to feel around for the light switch. Click! Now if I guess the power is still out, I drop my silkies and toss my door towel over my shoulder. Take it one more shot at it, I rock the light switch a few more times. Click, 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 click. Ah, view! The low hum of power courses through the old wiring in the room as I'm lining by the wall, room lighting up. Ah! <coughs> what was that? My voice lost. <coughs> ah! I panic at the sound of someone shouting and flail my arms before my hand lands on something soft. What? After a few moments, I regain my vision. Oh shit. Hello, dark. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. Nice to see you again. Oh my god! <laughs> Junk, I would say good morning, but it seems you already had one. Didn't you see? What is Silkies? I have to send it. <laughs> I'm just for you know. Uh, which, which is it? Fucking 16 minutes. 16 minutes, okay. So, um. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just going to send it. Don't mind me. What? She gestures down towards the silkies around my ankles and my hand on her chest. <gasps> oh, shit! <laughs> I hang them back up around my waist. Huge is asleep. Let's just pretend this didn't happen. It was an accident. Mistake. I, I, I'll only be a few more minutes. You can use the shower when I'm done. Oh god, this is awkward. S uh, sorry, I'll act on next time. It's okay. Just let's keep this between you and me for now. Shitting. Sure thing. Jong doesn't bother to explain anything else as she skips out of the bedroom and over to Yunji's bedroom. <laughs> However, she does glance back at me more than once. I'm just glad I didn't get slugged here, but that comment just now. Something seems off. I wish I knew what was going on. Well, nothing to be done about it now. I hop in the shower and draw the curtain. By the way, I used all of the... Ah! Hot water. Jong giggles and ducks back up. <laughs> ah, ah! Yes, I lost ball. That's me when I'm showering in the cold water. She could have warned me a bit earlier because there's a fair bit of revenge. Indeed. That's a skip mode. I have skip mode. You see that alt? Okay, alt is a skip mode. Remember that. Working quickly, I grab the soap and wash up and head back to the bedroom to change. After pulling on my shirt, I notice my walkie talkie bit a keypad flashing. Looks like I have text machines from Jong. Jong, breakfast is ready, Romeo. Just have to expect. Thanks, I'll be right over. God, I hate hitting the number keys over and over to get the letter. How did they ever survive texting in the 90s? My f my fingers are already cramping. What I wouldn't give for autocorrect. Bzzz. Well, that response was fast, Jong. And you're going to teach Yunji proper English? Maybe I'd best just get to breakfast. I hear the griddle giggling in the other room anyway. Uh, nice to see you two getting your hahas <laughs> in at my expense. As for all Americans were proficient in cutting edge technology, yet you can't even walk. Texting function on modern cell phone. The phone you gave me as well as the ones you have are not on the f cutting edge. They're dinosaurs from the 90s. Only old people use these models anymore. I'm guessing you never even got to see the phone that was confiscated from me, did you? Not really. No, but I'm certain it wasn't anything close to what you were using now. If only she knew how right she was, while still being incorrect. That reminds me, I have to cha charge my phone for the day. I'll be right back. Anyway, I'm not used to the type of phone you gave me, so don't take that as an indication of my English skills. 
Yunchi whips, uh, Yun whips, uh, whips, whips out her phone and taps on the keys like lightning. Yunji, if you say so, Yunji sticks her tongue out at me. Thanks for the support. Jung pokes her head back in. I'm sorry, did I interrupt a lover's call? <laughs> Luck I'd ever be. <laughs> oh, be a big one, cheerful sister. Jung smiled brightly. Well, aren't you a basket of sunshine today? Get good news. It hit me by surprise, one could say. I out my eyes as she says this, but I catch a blush as she says this. Yeah, what could happened? What could have happened <laughs> that sudden morning? <laughs> That's just it. I made, I made eggs and toast. Boiled eggs and toast? That sounds pleasantly different. Well, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to try a more traditional American breakfast. Don't think too much about it. It was just nothing. It was just something I wanted to try. You've never had boiled eggs and toast before. Well, typically it's boiled rice and kimchi. When is it not rice and kimchi? Lunch is boiled noodles and kimchi. Somehow I think you're missing the point. And what do you eat in your oh so glorious army? In boot camp it's like like uh, I don't want to talk about it. I'll take you at to your ward and anyway, let's it. We sit down and Yunji serves us serves up boiled eggs and toast, as well as some rice and beans. Simple fare, but simple fare. Simply clever. Yes, simply clever. But it's all been prepared rather the rather well. Of course I help up clean up afterwards. And it seems the girls are used to that now, as they don't complain. Oh my god, my screams are going to be so loud. I remember just now because my uh, microphone is really loud. I have to say, well, maybe let me lower this, I don't know. Yeah, it is quite loud. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, this, yeah, that's loud. I have it on the, on the get-go. Get-go, yes. And 20 minutes in, let's go. Once then, they approach me with their map again. So, what date route are we going to do today? The way you say that makes me think this whole thing has been scripted. Not at all. Now hurry up and decide so we can get ready. Ma'am, yes ma'am. <laughs> she groans as a silent her while saying this. Oh. Well, time to look at the map and click a place to go. I'm a picker. Let's go. <laughs> not click. Pick. You idiot. Why can't we go mount bike to? Also not Pionga. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about this mount. One sun bikini spreads <laughs> here. Evil this way. We can liberate you. Occupied Korea. You shall not pass. <laughs> Kaesong. Go to Kaesong Jong. Pueblo. We went with Yunji, right? So let's go with Jong. Jong. Let's go to Mansudai. Well, I suppose to a trip to Korea wouldn't be complete without no checking out Mansudae. Yes, it's one of the most heavily visited tourist destinations, as such only the top guys may take you. So I'll be spending the day with... Yenji will be accompanying you on this trip. She is? I will. She is? I will? No, I'm just pulling your arm, comrade. I'll be your guide. Like, the, the expression is pulling your leg. Don't scare me like that. Wait, no, retreat, return. Don't scare me like that. You know I'm on a prohibi probation from escorting tourists in Mans Mansudae. Probation? That sounds like an interesting story. And it's one you're not going to hear. Figured you wouldn't tell me. Guess I'll just have to coax, 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 coax it out, or junk instead. What does is what is coax? C O A X. 
Good luck. She pinky sword complete secrecy. If you buy me lunch on our date today, I'll tell you. Deal. You you capitalist swine Benedict Garfield. <laughs> and here we see how you ended up failing diplomacy 101 this semester. She's not going. She's not doing too well on her American journals either. You stay out of this. I don't see what the big deal is, Yunji. You were completely justified in what you did. But they still made an example out of the whole situation. Punishing me or punishing the tourists. That hurt. Wow. Found city this. What in the world what happened? I'll tell you on the way there. I, I was escorting a Russian tourist. We used his phone to take picture of the statues of our most revered leaders. I didn't realize it until the end of the tour when he showed me I was bowing in respect in the photo. That doesn't sound too bad. Not only did he get a shot of my skirt tucked <laughs> into my unmentionables, he also didn't get the entirety of pot statues in the shot. The nerve! I swiped his phone and stomped on it, and they gave me probation. Now you don't have to buy a junk lunch, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you really are such child times, Yunji. Don't worry about it. I am sure there are other Yunji stories you can swap me for lunch. <gasps> I hate you, Bob! <laughs> Just go already. Go on a date. Have fun. I'll be here with my pity celebration. <laughs> oh, don't be that way, Yunji. When we get back, I'll help you with your English if you're done. With your pity party, Dryden. My English is fine! I'm going to my room. Yunji crosses her arms in anger as she tries to storm out. I'm sorry, Yunji. I'll miss you today. I see you every day, so I probably won't. <laughs> I thought you, <laughs> you were the sweet one. What's with all the jobs today? <laughs> Military secret. You'll understand next year. A part of your training in also teasing your sister? Teasing friends in general, it's the best way to gain people's confidence so you can manipulate them into giving up state secrets. Well, that and women charms. But enough about work, let's get ready. I'm beginning to feel extremely uncomfortable. Then, you should change into some, some comfortable clothes. It's going to be fairly warm today. Meanwhile, you'll be dressed in full uniform, making me feel even more out of place. Yes, that is the rule for tall guys. Be in full dress whenever you're out of nudity. I brought my Marine Corps to Moto T-shirt. I could wear that. You could if you like the idea of running from the local authorities all day. I know, I know. Low profile. I wonder what you look like in one of our uniforms. The outfit for the man is a little plain, which. Which would go perfect with your personality. And here I thought I had won you over with my sharp wit and willing smile. Don't let her fool you. She's totally smitten with you. Is that a fact? Wait, wait, what? Hold on. It, it's not like I. Jonks, the, the, the one always writing about you in her diary. How sweet you are, how cute you are, how she wants to. In a flash, Jong has Yunji in a headlock and is dragging her back to the bedroom. Yunji is wailing the whole way. <laughs> a few short moments later, Jong is back in the living room with her slight to friendly smile. At this rate, if you will be here all day, follow me. You can get changed into your outdoor clothes so that you can go. I know where the bedroom is, you don't have to lead me any everywhere. What unless you plan on changing me too? A tempting offer, but not while Yunji is around, she might get angry. I don't see why, it doesn't seem like she's taken that great in an interest in me. Most of the time, she just insults me. I see the rumors about American men being close about women holds true. Anyway, get ready, that trolley bus is will be here soon. Lord Korea, the best Korea! 
She leaves me to go get ready herself. Well, nothing left to do but get dressed. I'm not sure what's up with this two. It seems more and more like they're competing over me. Here I thought I was just going to be touring with some military bats. But now I've got two girls fighting over who gets to go out with me. Well, it could be worse. It's not like I was the most in demand guy back home. Goddamn boot lieutenant with all of their bling. <laughs> I remember that one stupid second lieutenant he had in Hawaii. That dude was an idiot, and yet he kept getting award and after award. We used to call him the blink floor behind his back. <laughs> Good times. Anyway, this vacation would be so much better if I weren't constantly being spied on by those two. Still, they're both pretty damn cute. After tossing on a pair of jeans. No! You motherfucker! Jeans are. <laughs> Jeans? Jeans are banned in... In a plain t-shirt, I grab my wallet and phone and step out. As suspected, Jung is in full dress uniform. Yunji is now nowhere to be found. I guess Yunji didn't want to see us off then. She's a little busy in her room, blowing off some steam. Anyway, the trolley bus will be here in a minute. So, let's wait outside. I believe that... Jong uh, doesn't even wait for my reply, she grabs my hand and leads me out of the door. I believe the jeans are banned in North Korea. And as she said, the trolley bus is ab just about to pull up to the door. I wonder how she managed to get the tram to give her service at her door. But I guess tourists doesn't apply to tourists. Because you know tourist, a uh, other guy, other person. She pulls me up and leads all up all the way to the back. No one else is aboard yet. I apologize, our driver is out sick today, so we'll be on this tram today. It may take a little longer than than usual to arrive though. That's okay, we can just relax and check out the view then. Looking at the trolley bus, I can see why it take longer. This clunker has been around since 1970s and from the looks of it, the bus was made in some Soviet bloc country. I think the marking... yeah... Czechia, Slovakia, Czechoslovakia. I think the marking on some of the equipment making up the trolley bus are in Czech, maybe Hungarian. You know how big it is. A <coughs> it is a big, uh, big, big difference between Czech and Hungarian. Hungarian, Ugrofinic language, where you don't, you don't even understand that shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that to any of you Hungarians. I love you. Well, whatever the country produced it, by all rights it should be rusting in sc <coughs> scrapyard back there. Instead, it appears to be a part of the Korean mass transit system. As it moves, I can hear the engine creak and grumble under the weight of 50 years of abuse. Seriously, I think I saw a guy on bicycle pass us, and he was pretty chubby. You know, that's the first fat person I've seen in the entire country. Well, except the big man himself. My thoughts are interrupted as I feel something lightly fall on my shoulder. It appears Jong, tired from fighting with Niji, has liberally made, uh, made use of my shoulder as a pillow. Not that I mind. I could get used to this Jong asleep on my shoulder. The looks I'm getting from some of the other people who have filtered onto this bus over the last hour are wheeling me out door. You know, that really is the worst part. Every person here either looks terrified of me, or like they want to kill me. Yunji falls into the latter category. And Jung? Well, I guess she doesn't fall into either. Oh, great! Sounds like the brakes are almost shot on this that trap, too. And that to the list of things wrong with this country. And what was that line? We live, we die, we die again. We live, we die. Something like that. You know that mean... Oh, wait, I'm going to... Yeah, that sums this up. The walls shake at the slightest bump, the seat belts are ripped out, most of the windows are sealed shut, and I'm pretty sure there's a spring from the seat making its way up my ass. <laughs> We'd better be safer and more comfortable in that car we'd been taking everywhere. 
I'll never bitch about the noise from our tanks ever again, or being shot at while in one. At least it takes more than a gust of wind to take out our tanks. This death defying ride is making Arnold Toe of Afghanistan sound downright cozy. The brakes must be <laughs> have startled Jong as she is lifting her head up Titan. Are we? Oh, oh. We there yet? No, we aren't dead yet. Nor are we at our destination. Our ride draw purgatory will continue. She not uh, put her head back down. I rest my hand lightly on her shoulder. Thanks, that feels nice. Yes, good sleep. I'd say it was worth it, except all the locals getting on the bus look really astonished. Seeing a foreign white dude with his arm around a sleeping member of the Korean military. However, they don't say anything, so I guess maybe it was worth it. After another harrowing hour, which felt more like 20 hours, we finally arrive at our destination and get off the bus. This is the Pyongyang district home of the Mansu Dai Art Studio. It is here where all of our vital works of art are created and is one of the largest centers of art production in the world. That sounds like the first fact I heard since I got into this country. This place is huge and so many people everywhere. With all the outdoor and indoor sections combined, this is easily the largest art studio I ever seen. It is impressive, isn't it? So many wonderful pieces of art have come from here. But let's not just stand here and talk about it. Let me show you around. She grabs my hand and leads me to a large outside monument. By the look of it, I'm starting to question if I'm in North Korea, in if I'm in Korea or the former Soviet Union. Oh my God! It's those leaders, my favorite leaders. Il Sang. This is Kim Il Sang. So yeah, hammer and sickle, those are definitely old school communism symbols. But why the paintbrush? It's calligraphy brush, it symbolizes the intellectuals in union with the workers and farmers. And the red building flanking the monument? They are meant to resume flags, the word at top says ever victorious. By why the communist symbols? While our country has moved on from traditional Marxist communism into Yuhe, Yuche, what is that, Yuhe? It is still a strong foundation of our of how our country came to be founded. Also, the circular foundation is 70 meters in diameter to symbolize the 70 years of the party and do, down with imperialism to union when the monument was completed. Down with imperialism? Yes, and before the lineage of the glorious leaders finally wrested control of our country. We had been annexed into the traitorous Western Japanese Empire. That ended after Japan's crushing defeat at the United States head in the Second World War. So, in essence, this part of the monument is in celebration of No No Nippon? That may be the worst pun I ever heard. You never met my drill sergeant. There are more monuments on other species to see. However, some of them may not leave you with a very good feeling. After all, the history between our countries is strained. Either Korea and the United States were friendly with each other? Not with the true Korea, no. You are on the good terms with the occupied part of the country. Up here, not so much. Some of the art may disturb you. I've seen children explosives trapped to them used as IADs. I think I can handle some anti-American work. First, that's horrible. Who would use an innocent child as a disposable weapon? Far better to train them with rifles and have them kill waves of foreign invaders like in the Great War. Second, don't say I didn't warn you. Well, I'm glad to see there are still people shocked by kids being used as makeshift way. Wait, that's not much either. <coughs> that's not much better. Kids don't make good riflemen anyway. The guns are too heavy. Better to have them operate cruiser weapons. They can carry it as group, which helps build essential teamwork skills. That? That's an excellent point. I'll have to pass that idea on up. That was a duke no what? It's not what they're doing. Let's just go inside. John nods and leads me by the hand into the main section of the art studio. All around us are different all kinds of artwork, paintings, drawings, embroideries, even wood cuttings. Honestly, they aren't that bad. I'm surprised by the quality. The themes are mostly of nature and even the 
and the ever-present workers party, though I noticed the painter in one area working on something completely outside of those boundaries, before I can head over junk to the legs on my sleeve. I have to use the facilities, could you wait for me here? Facilities? Are you going to paint or something? No, I mean I have to make a stop at the restroom. Oh, you need to hit the head, got it, sure thing, I'll be here. Hit the head? You haven't done anything to warrant the punishment yet. Uh, sorry, military jargon, before go to bedroom. Ah, interesting, I may, I may have to teach that one to Yunji. She might scare some more soldiers with that expression. Anyway, I'll try not to take too long. Take your time, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. On my settings, give me better audio. As she heads off, I walk over the painter I had spotted a few minutes ago. He's painting a picture of what can only be described as war crimes being committed. However, it's a group of American soldiers torturing and killing Koreans. A center is Marine Corps General James Mad Dog Mathis, uses using a baseball bat to bash in the head of Korean women, which has some historical issues beyond the content itself, but either way, I'll try to stay quiet by the sneeze during the attention of the artist. His face goes ghost white. Why ghost white when he turns around and sees me? The fuck am I supposed to do? Fix softly, try to calm him down. Well, I'm going to end this. We will see this in another episode. I hope you enjoyed this one and I love you guys. Tomorrow or Sunday, something, Sunday, 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 I'm going to make another video of this. But it's going to be next week, maybe this week, I don't know. But it's not going to be next year, <laughs> definitely. Well, see you again later. Bye bye.